Hello, beautiful people. I'm going to be doing another vlog today. It'll be vlog two. Well, I enjoyed my last vlog a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I've got to do my nails today. And I'm just going to be doing bits and bobs around the house. And, um... I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on today. And I want to do my hair in a nice hairstyle today. Do my makeup and show you my routine today and what I do to manifest my dreams. Well, basically, to foresee what the next steps are because it's not good to have everything in your head all the time I mean basically thinking because you can't really do too much in the head because it causes mental problems and it can cause confusion so I want to show you how I organize my life and the different areas I work on to basically, I call it manifestation, but it's goal setting as well, like how I achieve my goals and um, the tools that I use. So I'll be showing you that today because I do art journaling and um, affirmations. I have to track my moods because I suffered depression quite severely and I've had a few breakdowns and I never realised why I was having breakdowns and it's really horrible to go through having breakdowns. So I basically had to do a lot of reading had to get therapy um, to find out why I was having breakdowns and I still am having therapy um, I've got three more sessions and I'm going to have to try and find another therapist but I'm interested in CBT CBT helps me a lot and the reason why I'm talking about it once upon a time I would hide it and pretend that nothing is wrong with me and I would go on like I'm just a normal person that you know happy go lucky and everything's going well for me and it's not that nothing's going well when you've got like mental problems because people see mental problems as um something bad and really it's Depending on how severe it is, because some people can be very evil when they've got mental problems, but I'm not evil with my mental problems. What it is with me is I'm trying to manifest more finance and a better lifestyle. Like I need, you know, financial support. So that's why it's been difficult for me with my mental state because... I suffered depression and when you have depression it's hard to do work it's hard to perform at a high level and it's hard to see in the mind on how to achieve the task so say for instance an artist can see the image before the artist draws the painting now my mind just sees black that's all it sees so when it comes to seeing an image it can't see an image brightly okay so when I close my eyes it's not color it's not a colorful picture so it's just dark in my head because the mind's damaged so say if I want to do a piece of work it doesn't come out very neatly my work's not very neat because the mind is not able to see clearly because it's stressed it's been stressed from a child because my mum 
suffered depression bad, very, 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 very badly. But I don't want to talk about her story because it's not fair and she's still alive and she'll get offended and one day she might see this video and she's not going to be happy about it because they just don't like talking about things like this because there is such a stigma about mental illness and I want to bring some awareness to mental illness because I never believed that I would end up getting unwell because I'm an event planner okay I'm qualified event planner and I used to work with children that was my first job working with children but I always had a you know a feeling that there was something not quite right with me because I was never able to accomplish my dreams like I always wanted to do art and I always knew that I couldn't see clearly in my mind so I always felt heavy in my head and when I used to speak to people about it they used to say don't look at depression that's not a good thing to look at and yes I understand all of that you're not supposed to visualize things like this but we've also got to be wise in our thinking as well because if some if there's a problem it has to be looked at because if it was looked at way way back when I was little then I wouldn't probably be going through what I'm going through today do you know what I mean because I've been through it's horrible episodes they call it and maybe one day I'll explain what happens, but I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, do you know? So that's what I'm saying. I have to do a mood tracker to see where my moods are at. And I only found this mood tracker about two weeks. I think it's two weeks now. So it monitors how happy I'm feeling and it, it make me see if, I'm really down or if I'm really up so it gives me information on how to lift my mood so to speak so I'm really grateful for the mood tracker so I'll show you that so I have to do a certain routine when I get up every single day in order to make sure that I don't have an episode so to speak well I've just figured this all out thanks to the psychologist if it's not for the psychologist I wouldn't know how to piece this all together so I've suffered with this mental problem since I had my children because stress leads to mental illness basically so I had children and um, I just wanted to change my lifestyle obviously when I had my children so it became more stressful and finances became more less and then I had to change my career around and then I didn't have confidence in myself to um, do a good job because I, I suffered low self-esteem and I lacked confidence so as I went along on my journey I figured a lot of things out about myself and my limitations and my limiting beliefs so I've been taking the time out to try and lift up my limiting beliefs but um, a lot of them still are here with me even though I've tried my best to overturn a lot of them like I lack um, confidence and like I said my self esteem needs lifting and my belief and I, quite, I get quite fearful of people and their moods as well because there's a lot of people out there that are moody and I, and I, and I tend to let people that are moody control me because that's the atmosphere I was used to but these people are just sad individuals and I'm trying to learn how to not let people that are moody bring me down. Because if you're in front of somebody that is sad and they start getting bossy, then um, they're going to bring you into their world, you see. And that's what I find keeps happening to me. I keep connecting with people 
that are moody and they seem to think it's a form of um what you call it authority and and leadership no it's not i would rather be around somebody that is a happy leader you know these are the people that we need to be putting in position more not these moody ones because these moody ones put a lot of stress on your head so i'm not able to really be among a lot of people so that's why i've vouched to do youtube videos and just to share my life authentically i'm not going to be hiding who i am and if you want to stigmatize me for having a mental issue fine but it's not a mental issue where i'm dangerous it's a mental issue where i just find life hard because um i don't have family support i didn't get brought up by my my um parents and i got brought up by my grandparents and they were quite dominating and domineering and very strict so and then it affected my um outlook in life i was a very fearful person very scared of people i just saw human beings to be very scary people so it affected me and my interactions with people and i still am very much like that today i don't like being around anyone that's negative um it's very hard to find positive people as well and most positive people keep people at a distance as well and they just get on with whatever they're doing from a distance so i tend to have to work alone a lot of the time so anyway today i'm going to show you basically some of my routine in my house um and we'll see what happens i haven't really got a plan in place so anything that i end up doing i will vlog it and i will show you okay so i'm gonna go and have a bath right now and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear. Right, this is the outfit I'm going to wear today. It's all Puma today. So a pink hoodie, because it's a bit breezy outside, even though the sun's out. It needs ironing, so I'm going to steam iron it. So Puma leggings and a Puma top. So I'm going to iron it anyway, so it won't look so creased up. And I'll show you it when I've got it on. And then I'm going to wear these as well with it. And that should look nice. And I'm going to do my hair. So I'll show you how I do my hair today. And that's the outfit for today. So I'm going to have a bath now. So I'm going to be do, having a bath spa. So I brought this to get rid of all my aches and my pains because my lower back is in pain at the moment. So I'll put it on and I'll let you see how it works. But it's so handy to have it. And it really helps, like, helps you to stress and it helps you to um, relax. And it gets rid of all muscle pains and aches as well. So I'm going to put it on and show you how it works. And I'm going to get inside of it. It's so nice. So, this is my bath for today. Now it's time for some exercise. So, I've got my little exercise corner over here. This is where I keep my exercise equipment there. I've got some more. But I just built up a little bit of my exercise equipment for the house. So if I need to do exercise at home, then I've got some exercise equipment here, as well as going to the gym. So I'm going to use this. Start off by stretching. 
to loosen up my muscles.
gonna be using grease in my hair from now on. And slick up the back as well. Lovely. I'm not gonna use gels. And my hair's a bit damp as well. Alright, let me see if I can get it up without no lumps and bumps in it. to go around. No, it's not going to work. Need another hair band. I'm going to try and make this, oh my god, this is it's not stretchy enough. I've got some hair bands in my bag. I've got to try making it as small as I can because I'm going to put a hair piece on. That sun is really blaring and I can't close the um, lines the thing is I'm trying to do this no there's a lump there right I'm gonna cover it up I got this ponytail I bought this from eBay actually um, I've never worn it. This is my first time in wearing it. So I'm excited. I love wearing ponytails, you know, because it's just easier. Where's the drawstring? They've got the. I'm gonna have to hold it. This hair is fly away. Fly away hair. There's something that can. A comb that can um, keep it in place. That's good. Oh my god, it's getting tangled. And pull up the drawstring. Gotta find a way to hide it. That's on tight. Let it go round in a circle and clip it in. And there is my ponytail. Ooh, glamorous. So that's done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of edges with the hair grease. Happy about that because I like things to be easy. I don't have time, to be honest, to be messing about for too long. 
not one for things taking long. So I'm just going to give myself some baby hairs with the grease. And the thing is, you can't go wrong with grease because grease will always make sure that your hair is healthy. You can't trust gels. Gels break off your hair. So this is coconut grease. I'll give myself some sideburns. Let it go around. Sideburns here. And that is done. So now I'm going to show you my spiritual corner, I call it, and what I do in my spiritual corner. So now I do my spiritual corner after I've like done my exercise, my hair, my makeup. Sometimes I do my spiritual corner up before I've done my hair and my makeup. I don't always do my hair and my makeup first, but the reason why I do my hair and my makeup first is because it makes me feel good about myself. It enhances my happiness. So this is my spiritual corner. I've got some affirmations behind me. I've got some stretching um, exercises up here so I can see them when I do my stretching. I couldn't do it this morning properly because I was doing a video. So I've got my money attraction affirmations. I've got my self-esteem um, affirmations. I've got my self-image affirmations up here. You can see self-image, I am for self-image, for self-esteem. I suppose it's for self-esteem, but for image to see that I am powerful, I am blessed, I am a mother, I am loving, I am patient, I'm a work of art, I am healthy. So I reinforce those affirmations every single day. I've got overthinking because I overthink a lot. So I've got a statement about overthinking and that's literally from Amarians, the singer um, stories that I got that from. So I photocopied that because I thought that was relevant to the way I am because I overthink too much. I've got confident affirmation because I do suffer with my confidence and I've got health affirmations because I had a lot of poor health which I'll talk about another time and how this helps me to focus on better health even though I'm not 100% back to health and I don't know if I ever will be mentally fine because I'll tell you another time about my mental state. I briefly spoke about it this morning and I'll talk about it another time because once uh, issues there, I will never know if I ever will have another episode because um, it's, it's, it's a stress related illness. So stress comes to us all, isn't it? And how can we avoid it? We just don't know what's going to come up from one minute to the next. So, fingers crossed that I never have another episode. But this is what helps me to stay focused on positive. It's tools for me to keep setting my goals, to keep strong. So, say if a situation comes up, I will be able to... I was meant to use all of these words to help me counteract anything negative but sometimes it's hard for me to um remember in a in a negative situation all of these affirmations so i come to my peaceful corner my this is my spiritual corner peaceful corner spiritual corner every single day to affirm for my present and my future. So I'm affirming and I'm planting seeds. So this one is a money one. I'm wanting to manifest more money because I've got dreams and aspirations to have more money. I wanna travel. I've been suffering 
financial problems for a little while now and I've been doing my affirmations I have seen some results I'm not going to say I haven't seen any results I've been able to build um, a YouTube channel I've been able to buy some equipment for it I've been able to do certain things in order to grow in order to get to the next level of my I call it a dream so I'm very much interested in money manifestation and I'm interested in teaching it as well so you'll hear me talk a lot about money and manif manif manifesting it and setting goals and focusing on it and setting intentions etc etc so um, I'm going to read these affirmations out now so I am a money magnet, money is drawn to me. I'm attracted to money at this very moment. Everything I touch turns into gold. I'm ready and able to receive money. Money is the root of joy and comfort. I deserve to make more money. My actions create prosperity. I constantly discover new sources of income. I release any ne all negative energy over money. All the resources I need are within me. I can handle massive success with ease. I get rich doing what I love. An abundance of money is flowing into my life. I deserve to be rich. I let, get, let go of all fears around money. The more I give, the more I receive. So I say these money affirmations every single day. And I constantly, I haven't finished my affirmation more, affirmation more. But I've got a folder full of affirmations as well. So I've got my chakras. That's blockages, so blocked. If you're fearful, anxious, unsure, financially instability, ungrounded. So finance has a lot to do with people getting unwell you know so I know that's another reason why I got so unwell because I had to you know build as a single mother I had to build a home I had to I had to do so much different things and then I had to, I suffer limitations in my self-image and my self-belief in myself and um, I had a lot of negative thinkings in my mind because of past teachings so it was it, it, it just one big mess so affirmations help me to see what I'm saying to myself is not true so I'm very grateful for affirmations so it helps you see your character what is really real of our character because we are unique human beings okay so I've got a big list of affirmations here so I just read them out to myself alive amazing appreciative awesome blissful bold bright brilliant calm cheerful cherished clear comfortable confident courageous creative decisive delicious delightful divine free focus flowing fabulous expanded so it helps lift my mood so to speak it just it lifts me every single time so there are some days that i just feel like i'm just not good enough so these are some more positive words. So I come to these and I say them out. I'm gonna stick I'll be sticking them up on my wall because I forgot I had them in my folder. And I've just started my spiritual corner because I hadn't I didn't have it here. I was trying to find a corner in my house because I actually changed the room around and I was trying to organise the house for to come onto YouTube. I've done a lot of work to come onto YouTube and I put everything in different areas because I had all these skills but I didn't believe that I had anything going for myself if, if it makes sense. So I had to organise my house. It's not. It's still not up to scratch because it needs painting. It needs a lot of work. Garden needs doing. I'll show you the garden another day. So a lot of things need doing still but I've pulled myself up as much as I possibly can so I can show my life on YouTube and I found I had a lot of different areas that I was interested in I've even got a design corner but I'm still learning how to use the equipment I've even got studio equipment and I've still got to put that in place so there's so much equipment that is not being put in place yet because it was just too overwhelming because I had to deal with my mental state. My mental state was destroying all my plans, you know. I've got so much qualifications, but because I suffer severe depression, I was unable to do anything because this depression was just messing, F-U-C-K-ing up everything, basically, yeah. 
and I've had to now set up this corner in order for me to focus on my mental state and I don't have a choice I have to focus on it so everything else is just gone out of the window you know so I read these money cards as well so I'm going to read one to you right now and I will be coming to the spiritual corner and I'll be doing a YouTube um, video just on my spiritual corner and we can come together and we can do spiritual corner together okay so this is what it says whenever you are feeling less than good if you will stop and say nothing is more important than I feel good I want to find a reason now to feel good you will find an improved thought anytime you feel negative emotions you are in the mode of resisting something that you want and that resistance takes its toll on you it takes its toll on your physical body and it takes its toll on the amount of wonderful things that you're allowing to come into your experience so remember to find a good feeling some way somehow because I got a good feeling when I done my hair it made me feel very very happy so I now know that I like doing my hair okay I love the look of my makeup today as well but I'm not really a, a fan of doing my makeup even though I do love the way it looks and the way it turns out I also read my bible well, it's not a bible but it's from the bible so it's called Daily Light, the classic scripture selection. And I find this one very peaceful because it's very positive. And it's drawn out all of the positive in the Bible and it's put it in this book. And it really does let you see the light. So our forefathers were under the cloud and they passed through the sea. They were all baptized in Moses in the cloud and in the sea. They all ate the same spiritual fruit and drank the same spiritual drink, so they were one and unified. So look, already I can see positivity from what I've read. So I come here in my spiritual corner and I'm at peace. I've got my books, I read, I do my mental work as well. I've also got this CBT book that I've got to keep reading because it gives me techniques to help me with my mental state as well. So I read this book as well and I've been listening to it on all on YouTube as well very very good anyone that's suffering mental illness please get this book feeling good and I've been recommended another book from my psychologist so I'm gonna buy that one as well she's such a lovely person so David D Burns MD so I have to take time out for my mind I have to I don't have a choice so basically it comes first in my life now I can't do anything else because to tell you I to be honest I can't take having no more breakdowns to be honest I've also got this book the science of getting rich this is a godsend this gives you confident financial confidence this book is amazing it's a must read so this book's bought by Wallace D Wattles so I read that one as well my brother bought me this book I haven't got round to reading it I do want to get round to reading it because I haven't had a chance to read much books because I've just been feeling a bit guilty to be honest with you at the moment I'll, I'll speak about it another time and then I do some writing journaling basically it could be about anything if I'm feeling sad if I'm feeling happy whatever's going on in my life I just jot it all down I just let it all out through writing so I sit here and I just write and it's just very therapeutic and it's just very very helpful for me as well and this is what I have to do it's a lot but I don't have a choice I have to do it and it is very helpful to clear the thoughts and if everything is clouded and because my mind gets jumbled up like if I've got too much things to do it gets overwhelming and my head can't see it so I have to write it down I have to plan things you know and I have to get it down on paper so it's helpful to just let it all out on paper so I can see more clearly now I use a mood tracker as well so I use it on my iPad so I want to show you and the mood the mood tracker to be honest has saved me a lot I never knew it existed. Now it's loading up. It has to load up. I never knew it existed. And thanks to the psychologist, I found it. Okay. So, because she's done a little bit of CBT on me. And I looked up um, CBT apps on um, my iPad on in the App Store. And I found all of these CBT apps 
and some of them you have to pay for. They give you some freeness somewhere, and uh, some of them you have to pay for, and they can be quite expensive. But I'm going to try and find the money for one. There's one for four hundred pounds, and it's your own personal online therapist because CBT is like twenty pound an hour. And they give you all these techniques just to keep you focused on the positive. They're so absolutely helpful. So I need this type of therapy because I tend to go into negative states far too much. So they keep you focused on positive. And they give you outlooks that you would I would never ever think of. And I think, oh my God, that way of thinking is so much more clearer and better and it just enlightens me the way they speak they're so goddamn clever obviously they've trained for like five to ten years so they're going to understand about the mind a hell of a lot more than myself but it's such an interesting world and it's so helpful to me so if i can find this 400 pound to pay for the cbt app a lot of people say it's really expensive and whatever and i know it's expensive but from what I've been through, you wouldn't understand unless you've gone through it yourself. And literally, I mean, I'm going to do some more research because I found another one for £87. But I don't know if it's as good as the, as the one I'm just, I've just mentioned. So how come it's not going on? It's loaded up, but it's not going on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you it today because this video is taking long. And I've got to try and break it down a little bit because the videos ended up long again i i was i done a, a video and it ended up being two hours long so i had to cut it down to 54 minutes and i can't understand how i've got so much to show you i'm trying another app now so i can show you mental health mental coping with depression coping with anxiety reducing stress because everyone goes through stress and loneliness it says here as well so see all so i'm going to type in anxiety because i get anxiety at times that's when you see too much of the future there now it says so next step three so this is all the things it's asking me it's on here can't see it, I don't think. Because it looks like it's a blank screen, can't even see anything. So step three, choose up to three life goals that will cap that that we can help you achieve and celebrate. Finding activities. So learning to live with anxiety. Next. I'm just gonna, oh, here it is. This is my mood one. So I believe in you. It starts off with that's very nice. And then it's going to go into the next page. Would you, what would you like to work on first? So I'm going to put reduce anxiety. And I'm sending it to them. So it's gone up. It's showing a picture. I don't know if you can see. Then it's giving me a question. So you're ready to make a change. It takes a lot of courage to commit to improving yourself. And down here it's giving me some help in what to say back. I know I can do it. I'm committed. How can you help me? So... I'm going to put, how can you help me? I'm a self-guided therapy app. Every day I recommend a therapy exercise designed to help you achieve your goals. And I'm always here to talk whenever you need. So that's very nice. Always there for, for me, basically. So it's got three options of what I can ask. I want to feel better. My mental health is important. I think therapy will help. Now, I want to feel better. That's what I want. So you're really ready to see some improvement. This is what it's saying to me. That makes me confident that we can find a way together. I'm here whenever you're ready to start. So I've put, I'm ready. That's the only option it's given me. I'm ready. So I've got to put my password in. So that's another app I found. I can't find the mood one. Because it must be on my Oh, here's the mood one. Mind shift. So I found quite a few of the apps. I'm looking for the mood one. Mood monitor. So this is a mood one. I'm feeling bad. okay, good. Well, I'm going to put good today. It says, nice to hear you're feeling good. Now let's rate your anxiety. What's going on? So I have to write a little bit in there and just put I 
feel overwhelmed because I've got a lot to do today. I feel overwhelmed today. So I'm just going to write that just quick because I'm here with you. I've got to be quick because this has gone on for too long now. And check in saved. Summary. I'm feeling a good anxiety. So it's getting me to see myself. And then it's got goals. And then learn. What is anxiety you can learn about? It. What happens when you're anxious? So it just helps me to see where I'm at within myself by writing it down and journaling, journaling, journaling it down. And I get to reflect and I get to make changes. So I get to see, well, I've got to do such and such and such to maybe lift up my moods. It just helps me reflect on what I need to do because sometimes I wasn't aware of when I was down and literally I just didn't know how low I was but by doing a mood um, check I'm able to see my mind if you get what I'm saying so this is my art journal I'm going to quickly go through this I have been doing an art journal it's been helping me a lot just to express myself through pictures and images and um, I would do a separate video on art journaling and the, the thing I like about art journaling is you don't have to be perfect. You can be as scruffy as you want, you can do what you want, how you want. There are no rules to art journaling, no rules at all. It's just how you're feeling, you know. There's no pressure, you know. So I do that as well. Not every day, I don't do art journaling every day, but it's something that just helps me. And then I put candles on at times. I'm going to buy a new plant. I'm going to swap and change the plants because it's dying, this one. I haven't been looking after it. And I just decorate my corner to be peaceful and very welcoming. And I can go to my safe place, basically. So I've just skimmed on my spiritual corner. So I will be coming here at times and sharing food for thought and just... Whoever's interested in, you know, building on their mental state, building on their dream, building on their goal, because it's not just about the negative side of mental illness, it's about positivity as well, building your, maybe your vision, bringing in your dreams, you know, that you've been trying to manifest for some time, sorting out issues, sorting out a problem, and how best to achieve a more peaceful, tranquil, life that you want to live basically so I just want to share what I've learned along my journey you know through my ups and downs the good and the bad and basically let's come together and help each other manifest small dreams and big dreams also because it can be hard to manifest dreams by yourself you do need a support network to help grow you all right i'm gonna go now and i'm going to make some pancakes no waffles and i'm gonna go out and get some fresh air on my scooter so i think i'm gonna get the fresh air first and then i'm gonna go and make the waffles for because i haven't eaten today naughty me i should have really eaten but sometimes i don't feel like eating so i'm gonna make something to eat after I've got some fresh air.
some um, alkaline waffles with um, some vegan burgers so it should be nice so I might have to speed up the video as well but I'm just going to start making it now burgers mixed with vegetable burgers with a hint of coriander and chili so there's two in here they're nice so I'm just gonna fry them I do have a burger maker actually where's the burger maker Jay where's the burger maker I should have put them in the burger maker <laughs> some cacao powder that I love, I love the cacao powder, it's little, just a little bit bitter but it's good for energy and um, I don't think it's worth putting them because I just put some pumpkin seeds in and then I put this green organic sprack sprack Spatula powder. Good for all the vitamins, green vitamins that we need. And I need some milk. So I just use the same oat milk. I think this might be done. Oh no, it's not done. First time that's ever happened to me. It's stuck. I don't know if it's gonna unstuck. It's unstick, unstuck, unstick. That doesn't make sense. Unstuck. Push that back. And then I gotta plug it in.
you back. Right. I've got some sour cream as well. And guacamole. That I'm going to put on top. come out very easily. I don't know why they made it like this. Oh, it's coming out everywhere else but on the burger. So, this is my lunch. And that one's for my daughter when she decides to come. mix it up and let me taste it see how it tastes I need to get some new knife and fork see if it tastes nice I've never had waffles with um, a vegan burger before I normally have vegan nuggets with it I think I need more flavour for the vegan chilli sauce let me try some chilli sauce Nice. I'm going to put a bit of cayenne pepper on there. I've got to buy some chili sauce. But it, it does taste nice. I can't say that it doesn't. Very fresh, fresher than fresh. I like it. Do you want yours? My little girl has come for her. She doesn't want to be on camera. Going on like a diva. So that's that. Nice, nice. Another one. She wants. She wants two waffles. Anything else? So, I don't think I showed you my outfit, so I'm going to show you my outfit right now. So, this is the outfit I've got on today. Um, I put the jumper on because I went out on my scooter. So, I've got a um, Puma top on underneath. That's a set with the, with the leggings. And I've got the Puma jumper on as well. So I just like to be casual and comfortable throughout the day. I just into oh my gosh I covered the camera. I'm into comfy wear nowadays. I don't know why, but um, I used to dress up like the Kardashians every single day. And one day I just felt like um dressing in easy wear and it just has become a little bit of a um habit now i'm going to try and get out of it because i want to start dressing up a bit more again i don't want to be wearing track suits and easy wear all day long but this is what i've just flung on today with these oh my gosh i keep covering the camera with these these are so cosy, it's unbelievable. So, that's outfit for today. Can't even see it in the mirror properly. That's my outfit for today. Trying to do the modeling pose 
by holding the phone because I'm doing my vlogging off my phone at the moment because I'm still learning how to use my editing app and I just really don't have confidence to do it on my camera at the moment and I've got two cameras but I feel confident more on the phone and I've got to get out of that soon enough I will me and laptops aren't friends to be honest and I need a new laptop as well okay so I'm gonna end the vlog here um, I'm gonna get better at edit, um, doing my video graphing um, I'm just learning basically um, but it will improve and um, I've been ill as well so my previous videos that I've done was a long time ago but like I said I'll explain what happened to me another time and um, I'm sure t this eyebrow is different to this one this happens to me all the time so basically I'm going to just grow and evolve the more confident I get and um, like I said I've been doing it off my phone so I'm going to transit I've got a camera and everything I bought a camera I've got two cameras in fact but I need a new laptop and also I've got Premiere Pro and it's so difficult to use I don't I know why it's so complex so I'm not very happy at doing editing on the laptop at the moment because it's just too much mind work it could just be me because I'm you know wasn't a hundred percent well but it's like a maze and you're trying to find your files and what have you and then I like to be able to see my video clips but I don't know I'm just gonna have to keep learning Premiere Pro but hopefully I transition over to laptop top soon enough because I've never been a laptop fan I've always liked iPads and iPhones more I've never liked laptops even at school I never liked computers and I don't even know why I just get like anxious and fearful of them do you know what I mean it's like there's so much buttons there's so much going on it's just clouds my head so I'm hoping that I build up on confidence to transition over to the laptop because obviously the video quality is not going to be as good so I hope you can bear with me and I hope you still enjoy watching my videos and um, fingers crossed that I get confident to go onto my laptop so I can edit videos so anyway I'm going now I hope you've enjoyed this vlog like and subscribe and share please and I will join you again for another video another day have a nice blessed day life make sure all your dreams come true here to support you all on your journey okay bye